Champel Doji, the son of Shabdung Nawanam Gil, went to Punaka's home where Daisy Umze Tenzin Trugil and Pekka Juni resided. He requested Daisy that he wanted to meet his father, but the Daisy rejected his request. Champel Doji by force entered and shared about kind of a power struggle which has already started in the nation to his father. Therefore, Champel Doji requested Shabdru Nawanam Gil to come back from the retreat. Shabdru Nawanam Gil, without saying anything, emitted three rays from his body and one fell at Ninduka Dagana. His speech incarnation fell on Dagana in the womb of King Gilmo. such a tiring day today and I have a lot of chores to be completed at home it is better I go home straight away today I cannot suck in my blood that is too possible I better go Have a tea, dear. Okay, thank you. Looking at your smile today, I think you have something special to tell, yeah? Actually, I do have. Today, something strange happened to me. Strange? Yes. When I was returning from the field, I was so tired. So I was taking rest near the children. And do, do you know that the child on, in my womb Janket Omani from the home. Oh, from the home? Yes. The My child, dear? The child janket Omani from the home three times. Oh, I think it is a clear indication that our child will be extraordinary one. So, my dear, you need not have to worry about the work that is embedded in the field. I'm going to take a responsibility. You take it yourself. And I, I will take care of all other things. So today I have lots of work to be done in the field. So I am leaving. Take care, my dear. Thank you, dear. I am so proud of you. Oh. Hey, my dear. I have forgotten something. What is it now? So before leaving to my work, I want to listen what my child says. Wow, if I'm lucky enough, I'm going to have a son. 
Will become a pasa for sure. Maybe it's a childhood. <laughs> Anyways, I'm leaving for the war. Call the messenger in. The boy was extremely strange. He had shown so many extraordinary signs of a trick. This news was heard by the dark and low. He sends a message to the Punaka Song that an extraordinary child has been born in his district. I got a message from Madar Pilabla. It has been said that there is an extraordinary child born in Dagana. We would like to check whether he is the true incarnation of Shabrung or not. So with lots of, lots of my trust, I send you all to bring him here. So you may go now. Basula. Basula. Gave to a son. Yeah, I heard that same too. 
I have been there and I have seen the birth of the sun. The sun was extraordinarily different. Hey, excuse me. Do you know Gelman is in the site? I know that. You just go a mile away from here and take the route towards Pikiling Gampa. And on the way you will see a house. Biggest house among the village. Excuse me. If you think that you may not find the house then, we will accompany you. Thank you, thank you. This is the house where the extraordinary child resides. For, for what reason you came here? Are you the father of extraordinary child? Yeah, sure, I am the one. But why? There is an instruction and order from the higher officials to bring your child to the Punaka zone. So, as per the command, we are out here to take him. Oh, whatsoever. Let's go inside and talk nicely. Be careful! It's dangerous out here. After the long conversation, Shapchung Sungtral's parents agreed to take him to Punaka Song with buzz-ups. The Tiku and Entourage are being received by the DC and J Kempo at Punakazon.
forget to utter ma repeat it again ka kha ga ma ka kha ga mai tiku why do you hesitate to utter ma ga ni spelling to pangaw nam ge myself and my father is timpini ma no dishi tinji and my mother is none other than sona peki buti In the process of saying this, he remembered his you know past what? generation clearly. I'm so proud of you, because you gave an extraordinary child in our family. I knew that your blood would be extraordinary. I'm happy and fortunate to have an extraordinary child in our family. According to the KT, he's destined to be a saint. Yes, that's why I want you to find a teacher and start teaching him. My dear wife, don't worry. I'll take him tomorrow. It's better if you do it immediately. Okay then let's have a breakfast. Now Triku has grown up. His parents have died by then. The some of the central's contribution where he initiated teaching, constructed lakhans, blessed so many important sites and subdued the Every once in a while for a brief moment in time we need to pause. We need to take a long breath and ask ourselves who we are. Of course not in literal sense. Not the reflection staring back in a mirror but in the context of road you have already taken today i am going to teach you about the four noble truths that is very important in our day to daily lives number 1 life is full of suffering number 2 desire is the main cause of suffering number 3 suffering stops when the desire stops number 4 we can end suffering by following eight fold parts and attend nirvana i know i know about impermanence i know that one day we would have to depart but i can't control my emotion because i have been with you for so long why do you want to leave for permanent retreat why don't you want to live little longer <laughs> You are younger than me. Please don't go, go, go for the permanent retreat. <laughs> My dear disciple, life is so fleeting. So many turn and twist happens in our life. And I have done enough for the sentient being 
who were suffering as a result of the weak conduct. Now that I'm 29 years old, I must leave this lovely world. I shall be born again and see you all again soon. My dear disciple, after my past, you must stay safe. The Sun Choco will be our first seat and pass this lineage to younger one very fruitfully. Pass our lineage to every of the steps that lies in our younger generation. You must do this. You must flourish the Drupa Kaju all over <coughs> the country. My son, you must just I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking